How's it going, everyone? Brew United here. At this moment in time, it would be remiss of me not to mention Euden Chronicle, a game that is being touted as their spiritual successor of Suicoden. We haven't had a Suicoden since 2006, and that is a pretty big deal to me. <laughs> it should be to you, too. And if you haven't played Suicoden, you should try it. One of the reasons why I find this game is going to be a great success is that it's being developed by the original creator of Sui Coden. It's been up on Kickstarter for a few weeks now, and it has blown through every stretch goal that's been put in front of it, starting initially at 500,000, and ultimately, three million later, it's still going. Let's see where this thing goes, and let's do a little dive into what it could be for me and for you. Here sits Yoshitaka Moriyama, down but not out, because he's got a dream. His dream is to resurrect Sui Koden and take it from the boss's thugs, which is subtle shade at Konami. I wonder if Hideo Kojima and him would have an interesting conversation. So what you may not know is that Moriyama-san is actually the original creator of the series, which was based loosely off a Chinese novel called Water Margin. From what I could remember of the past five games, you had a main character or main characters and 108 others known as the Stars of Destiny, which you could recruit into your base. The three individuals that Moriyama-san is recruiting here almost makes me think of those 108 stars because the three of them actually work with him on Suicoden originally. The four of them cosplaying under this bridge really brings me back to a nostalgic moment of trying to go to Blockbuster, rent the game, only to notice they didn't have it, and then I would have to go back time and time again, renting other games, hoping they had Suicoden. The low-budget aspect of all of this video really makes me think that they were just having a good time with us, even down to the base building here, and showing how they're making a fort out of nothing but cardboard. Even their movements in this scene show they really remember classic gaming. The boss referenced here is Koji Igarashi, who was a key figure in the Castlevania series, Notice the Fangs, and worked at Konami with Moriyama-san, and is actually part of getting this project off the ground. Think of him as like maybe the Nick Fury. At the time of this recording, this is the ninth most funded game on the Kickstarter platform. It's also rumored that some of the team members working on this project are part of the Tale series, and Wild Arms games. That's huge. And as I mentioned, Moriyama-san and Igarashi-san may have a huge mountain to climb, but they deserve a ton of credit for assembling the team that they have and ultimately bringing the nostalgia back for me and hopefully you as well. I've read a lot about the reason why Suicoden was put on ice. One of the main reasons I've read was that the fans ultimately did not want another game of this type. From the funding of this game, it seems like that was a big mistake. If these graphics are just a glimpse of what to judge this game on, I'm highly impressed. I'm actually really excited to see where they can take this game. The battle scenes seem to take a page from the new, while also referencing a page from the old. So at the time of this recording, I believe there's about 11 days left on the Kickstarter. I've already ordered a physical copy. I'd urge you to do the same if any of this looks interesting, or if you're just nostalgic for Suicoden in its new form, called Ayuden Chronicle. Take a look down in the description for a link to their Kickstarter. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking, and also subscribing to my channel. Thank you very much.